Hello, welcome to the Thursday, July 20th, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. I caught myself a pretty bad cold, so I'll uh, keep uh, this uh, podcast a little bit uh, shorter uh, than normal. I want to start out just with a reminder, I already mentioned this uh, yesterday, but the Citrix ADC, well, uh, you must patch this uh, by this weekend. It's already being exploited. The only thing is that may help you here that the vulnerability is only exploitable if you are running it as like a VPN virtual server, uh, RDP proxy and such. If you're just running it as a simple web proxy, then you may not be affected. But still, just uh, to be sure, uh, apply uh, this particular update. It's a remote code execution vulnerability. It does not require authentication and is already exploited in the wild. And if you don't have any Citrix systems that need patching, then maybe this weekend you'll have time for the Maritime Radio Historical Society Challenge. Uh, what they'll be doing is broadcasting a radio message that is encrypted with an Enigma. On their webpage, they basically tell you the settings uh, that you need to use in order to decrypt the challenge. Probably an interesting little game if uh, you are into ham radio, of course, you need to be able uh, to receive the message with the respective equipment and have some kind of Enigma emulator, assuming that you don't have the real uh, thing sitting around to decrypt the message. And Oracle released its quarterly critical patch update. Uh, As usual, tons and tons of vulnerabilities here, more than 500 in 130 products. Problem with that is always that Oracle has so many different products uh, that uh, they maintain. And of course, with that, you get uh, these very overwhelming uh, patch days. They have a decent uh, overview that may help you figure out uh, what you need to patch. But other than that, uh, too much to mention here in detail in the podcast. And Microsoft is responding to the recent incident where Microsoft lost some of its keys used for authentication and attackers were able to impersonate specific accounts. One of the criticisms here was, aside from Microsoft just losing the key and obviously having uh, no idea how it happened, that uh, the logging that you get uh, by default uh, with Microsoft Cloud is too limited to actually detect attacks like this. Microsoft uh, today released a blog post that they will make enhanced logging available uh, to more of uh, their customers. More details in Microsoft's uh, blog post. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.